one of the wonderful things about an amateur built is you have choices in engines. For instance, we chose to put in Lycoming TIO 540 AE28, which is a dual turbo, dual intercooled engine. It's 350 horsepower, it's awesome. You don't have to do that. If you're not in the mountains or you're not really into flying high and long trips, then a normally aspirated IO580 would be a great engine or a Continental 550. Both of those are great choices in the airplane. We also offer a turbine. So we can put the Walter 601D in the airplane or a Honeywell or a Pratt & Whitney. We can use any turbine engine in the right, up to about 750 horsepower. The other thing people are asking us is the diesel engines. There are a number of different engines coming on the market now that will be diesel. And the reason for the diesel engine, particularly in Europe, is fuel. They have a hard time getting 100 low lead. So jet fuel, they can always get. So that's the, that's the magic part about owning a, an experimental or an amateur built aircraft is the ability to pick your own engine and do whatever you want to do. You have more freedom.